Richard Pedersen. And he has gone in hard there. That's a nasty fall. And that is... Well, he's sat up anyway, which is good. Milik sat up. Quite clearly shook up. We're well, looking at uh, Milik, who's uh, on the inside of Nicky Pedersen. He then elects to go to the outside of him and misjudges it. Oh. Just completely misjudges it. And a massive... Um, just straightens him up there. He does that too late. He needed to stay on the inside of him. Pedersen's lucky not to go with him. But fortunately, although it's extremely high speed, He's away from the bike, and that effectively saves him. That saves him, because if he'd gone with the bike, it would have been really nasty. But look how out of control. I tell you what, that's frightening. I can't tell you how frightening that is. Really fast. Just at the end of the first lap. Yeah, he's out. Cool, he hasn't had a great start, is he? A warning, then an exclusion, and a big crash. And again, I have to repeat, Cal, thank goodness for an air fence there. Reacted oh. so well, but uh, there's no doubt about it that Cook was out of control there, had absolutely zero chance of holding on to the bike. Look where the bike's ended up. Yeah. Well, I do hope he's okay. There's still plenty of people around him, but you'll see it now. He comes charging in here and he's going to hit a rut there, and the bike just literally. L well, Zagar's lucky as well, you know, because the bike only just misses oh. the back of Zagar and then it leaps the fence. Unfortunately, there's a fair distance between the safety fence Watch and Watch Lambert in red here. He sees it straight away, yeah, gets brilliant. the bike down. Yeah, you can see how the peripheral vision, and he puts the bike down and avoids any contact with Craig. So, yeah, the youngster does brilliantly well there. You see it straight away, to sees that out of the corner of his left oh. eye, and then the bike just literally catapults itself over the fence, but Cook's OK, that's good news. That's the main thing. Modern day speedway bike night, when it hooks up like that, you've got no chance. And that clearly demonstrates it. And uh, fortunately, there's nobody there, so no damage done to anybody. But so uh, the bike will be a bit second hand, that's for sure. <laughs> well, you won't see anything. How lucky is Zagar? Yeah, how lucky is Zagar? I mean, he's completely unaware of that as well, <laughs> fortunately. But uh, that bike, I have to tell you what, that's going to need some repairs. I liked how Doyle was on the inside, just looking over his shoulder. <laughs> and a good view of what he was seeing. <laughs> well, that's great news. Ty Wolfenden with him. Right four. Inoski has made the start on Pedersen. Now Kellerman is trying the inside. Segar has blasted around the outside. Whoa! No room for Pedersen. Big crash. That is a nasty one. All three riders down in an untidy heap. Nobody was giving anything there. There's no way anybody was ever going to give way. And, uh, well, Zagar has sat up, which is encouraging and has been spoken to. Just to the right of that. You see it again. Initially, of course, the inside gate working well, Janowski. Watch Zagar there, lifts violently, runs very wide. Peter Kilderman coming across. Oh, that is tough. That's a tough one to call as well, because Kilderman could argue that he had the advantage there. Chops back to the inside, just them in front. Nicky Pedersen there, just not giving oh. anything. And there's a contact, he throws the bike away, and Nicky then sat up. Bike. Nicky Patterson is sat up, by the way. Oh, that's a tough crash. Bikes and bottles there, all over the place. I really don't know what Jim Lawrence is going to do here. Such a difficult call. Peter Kilderman coming across. On that angle, it looks like Kilderman just cleans up Pedersen, and then it's just carnage from then on in. But the turn back from Peter Kilderman is perfectly entitled to do that. And it's... Nicky sat up, just taking some water in, which is good to see. Oh! Oh, my goodness. If those boys get up and walk away from that, they are very fortunate indeed. Now, that is an awful-looking Pedersen up. That's what great a... to see, Nicky what Pedersen. What a tough oh, he's he a is. tough boy. No doubt about that. Well, these boys are tough. Bit of ice treatment for Matty Zagar on his wrist. Pedersen has a lead, look at Dahl, and Sega! Oh! Big crash! Big crash down the back straight, going into turn three. Well, let's hope they're going to be OK, these boys. Fingers crossed for the, uh, the boys here. Well, they just really winded on here. No room there, Nicky well, goes down, Manny yeah. can't avoid him. His front wheel's taken away by uh, Doyle coming up the inside, Nigel. 
So Doyle's... Clips him there, clips him there, goes straight down. Doyle. And then Zagar's got no choice as well. It was a really, really tough move from Doyle. Doyle's alongside there, a little bit of contact with Zagar, but he just wipes out. And no surprise to see the exclusion line of Doyle go on. Doyle, unfortunately, just a little bit over eager there. Shame. You can see that the helmet, the helmet has taken a massive run. He wears a very good make of helmet. It's fantastic to see and Pedersen up. Brilliant, brilliant. The Zagon now coming out of the middle for centre. They're warming his bikes up. Well, that's good news. Looks like he's going to be able to uh, take his place in the ring run, which is a miracle. Let's do that, do the outside run again, down the back straight, it's oh. a run. Well, 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 let's hope the boys are going to be OK here, because that was a big one. Freddie Lindgren trying desperately to get out of the way. Let's have a look at this. Is that too hard? Is that too hard for Mikkel Mickelson? I'll tell you what, Freddie Lindgren. Oh, frick. Whoa, nasty crash. And I'll tell you what, that is a minor miracle that they've all got up. I'll tell you, Mikkel Mickelson's hard on Dudek there. He is wow. very hard on him. Wow. Bikes and bodies everywhere. What a spectacular crash. And, uh, Max Frick is still being attended to. I think he's holding his wrist, Max Frick. This is a big decision for the referee. It here. is now, yeah. Because Mikkel Mickelson moves over there. Just there. And basically leaves him with nowhere to go. See, I'm not quite sure which way the ref's going to go there, but I, I don't oh. like that move there. It just gives him a nudge there when he's, he's alongside him. He knows he's there, he must have had an idea he's there. Freddie Lingwin picks the front wheel up. No. Well, Dudek is exclu excluded, we're told. I can't see an exclusion light, but that's just information that is being fed through to me right now. But I'll tell you what, that could have been such an even worse outcome.